Hey my friend, it is Dirk. In this lesson, let's talk about how to create multiple sections in your collection view. That is the each section right here in our complete app. We have different sections of the collection view and then each of the sections will have different cells. So how can we do that? Let's talk about that in the next demo. So this is the app that we complete in the last session so far. We have just a collection view of photos. Now what we want to do is we want to have this view over here for our section separator. And then each of the section, we have the icon for the section and a title for the section, right? Now, um, when you look at this app, you see that this thing is actually just a view. Just a view. So what we can do is we will create a view that we will use that view as the section head of you. Okay, so here we go. Now, one way we can do that is drag out a view to the screen like this. But there's a um, there's there's a very cool method in collection view, and that is collection view dot the key reusable supplementary view. So we have that supplementary view in collection view. And why is that? It's just like a normal view, but it's kind of like having a uh, some helper methods around that. So click into your collection view, goes over your, uh, what is that? The uh, attribute inspector. And then you will see that there is the accessories over here. You see this? Accessories. Check the section header. Then we have the section header like this. Cool. And then you will see that the type of this is collection view, reusable view. Now, when you look at collection view reusable view like this, it's very much likely this is of type UI collection view, UI collection reusable view. And yet, the type is UI collection reusable view. If you look at this, the type by default is UI collection reusable view. Okay, so now let's drag out an image to this guy. Let's make that, uh, I think that is like, oh, is 16 by 16. 12 and 12 width and height. Now it's much bigger than that. So we want to have 12. How much is it now? Okay, so let's do 32 by 32. Like that. And then we want to have uh, 8, 9, 12, like that. That's cool. Right, so 32 by 32. And then let's use auto layout. Oh, you know what? Let's do that as your little code change. And then we'll change it to family. Like this, All right? And then aspect fit, cool. Next thing, let's have a label for this guy. Now this thing looks really like a tail view cell, right? It is the section header over here. So on this guy, let's use the label of family. And then I want to use the Avenir custom font. Avenir next, let's use 19. And then I want to make the the title to be bold like this and then let's change our color into dark gray color like that all right hold the command key equal button and we have this thing appears move it right into the middle it points to the icon and there we go we have it oh you know what let's change this to category label like that this is quite like too big, so let's change it into 17. Come in equal, right to the middle. So that is 70. All right, now can I challenge you with all love and respect and encouragement and motivation? <laughs> can you do auto layout for these two elements for me, please? <laughs> okay, do it now. And this is your last chance because I'm going to do it now. Okay, so I'm going to P menu, uncheck constraint margin, width and height, the left, left and bottom, add the constraints, this category label, uncheck constraint to margin, left, top and bottom, and add the constraint. That's it. Okay, now it's okay if you have different set of constraints. Um, whatever it works, it works. 
that's why we usually call auto layout is more of like an art than a science but still it has the science behind that right so let's get over our now we have this guy it's just like a normal views that you have you are going to have to dq so when i says dq it is it should ring a bell for you that we create a custom class for it so here you right click into views new file square file and let's name this guy section header view section header view and create that views okay import ui kit let's have some space here import ui kit and then let's have a class called uh what is that ui class section header view it is a typed ui collection reusable view like this right and then this reusable view it only has one ib alert so let's typing it out with var what is that the category title label which is ui label like this right and what is the same uh, what is the api okay we have the var category title which is a string and i want to what when it did set let's set the category title label dot text to be our category title and boom that's it three lines of code four lines of code but anyway <laughs> okay now go back into your main storyboard set the custom class for this header to be like this the class is section header view and copy this guy make the identifier of it to be the section header view too cool all right now go back into your photos collection view controller goes into your storyboard make another static let section header header view to be this string section header view which is that identifier remember the identifier and then in order to have this um this guy over here all we have to do is count a method in ui collection view data source it is called collection view view for supplementary view for supplementary element of kind at the index path don't worry about all of these stuff okay so this thing with the kind here it is like just some constant string that tells the system that okay this is like the the section header that is the footer header those kind of things so let's have a comment here for our section header view cool so now in here i'm going to call the method called let header view let section header view to be our collection view dot the queue not reusable cell with identifier but rather the q reusable supplementary view of kind with identifier those kind of things okay so of kind here i will copy this kind put it here with the identifier is storyboard dot section header view for the index path is this index path and then we cast it down as as the section header view okay and then we just have to return that section header view before we do that what do we do yeah we because now it is the section header view we can just section header view dot what category title to be something and that something is our let category to be the photo categories again the photo category is above here right now because we have that index path then we can do one subscript index path dot section like this and the category title is just our category dot uh, title you see that okay let's run the app and see how it looks like our very very cool section header oh by the way gosh i think i forgot oh my god <laughs> i think i forgot that 
Uh, okay, now we have an error, but I think I forgot that we didn't change the outlet. And number two, we need the image, right? So let's head over here, the section header view. Uh, instead of the cat category title, let's have let, let var photo category to be a photo category like this. Okay, let's pause the project here. Photo category. And then whenever this guy gets the set, let's change. Oh, by the way, we have an IB outlet, wick var of category image view, which is UI image view like this. Right? And then here we change the category title label, the text, to be the photo category dot title. Next thing, the category image view dot image to be the photo category dot image category image name. And we do UI image with a name of this guy. You see that? All right, now we have it. So we have the category and photos. The only job left or the second job left is we change the outlet of this guy. So let's change our it. Category image name. By the way, I select the category label, right? This view goes into the connection inspector. And then we have the category image name, drag that thing to this guy. The label, title label, drag that thing to this guy. And finally, the photos collection view is that category title into category photo category and category equals that see that now let's run the app and see how it looks like here we go it's beautiful I hope that you love this because it's really beautiful and it's cool Looks really cool. And just imagine how little code that we have to write for these to take shape. Incredible. All right, so I hope that you enjoyed this lesson. I hope that you enjoyed the demo. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to post it right below this video for me and we'll try to answer all of your questions. I hope that you enjoyed this. And um, you know what? Most people will not get the time, will not put the time into training, into level up your skills just like you. So I honor you for that and I congratulate you for that. You deserve the best in this. So please enjoy this. And in the next one, we are going to talk about how to transition from one cell like this, move to the next cell, which we will talk about collection view delegate, which is the thing that we'll focus most on. So I hope that you enjoy that. I see you in the next one. Until then, go out there every single day of your life, learn new things, craft your ideas, and contribute to the world.